Hi, welcome back to... Brian, did you want to repeat what you just said to me? I was like, hey, hey, hang on a second. I'm going to eat me a Tootsie Roll. I'm going to chew on some Norman Sweetis. <laughs> so between episodes, after you finish <laughs> the second episode with me eating shit every five seconds <sighs> and more Norman Reedus puns, <clears throat> you actually started looking up a list. Yeah, I couldn't find the list, though. I just tried to list. Google one okay. and ended up getting distracted by a story about a cat. Because now it's funny. You kept saying, uh, like, I kept referring to falling over as eating shit. You referred to it as eating it. And I was like, how can I work the term eat it into or eat shit into Norman Reedus? Because it would just end up being Norman eat shit -us? That doesn't work. No. It's not working. All right. We, we finished delivering a thing. Deliver lost cargo. Oh, is this the... Oh, wait. All that stuff was just the first one? Yeah, you had the second one, too. I thought that was totaled up. No, apparently you had two different ones. So I get more lights? Oh, you found the lost cargo, that's why. Right, I thought they lumped the lost cargo in with this. Apparently not. With the, the first one. <laughs> I only had 19% damage, you're this good. Is just more stuff? I'm getting so much stuff. I'm gonna be popular. Gosh darn it, people like you. I'm gonna be popular. <laughs> Dang. I'm gonna be Facebook popular with all these likes. What do likes do? I have no idea. Fantastic. Good, I'm glad we're doing this. Oh, it's actually leveling awesome. you up in the different stars. Oh, there's a level up system? Apparently. Okay, now I got a question. Yeah. A question. So, on my account, I actually do not have PlayStation Network. Okay. Now, do you know if that's going to affect the, the asymmetric multiplayer of this? Because if you remember, I've never had PlayStation Network, but I was able to play Let It Die. Yeah, no, I and, it, well, Let It Die doesn't require PlayStation Plus to play because it's a right. paid, it's like a free-to-play game. And free-to-play games usually don't require that you also have Plus. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, because like Fortnite and that, they don't require it. Seriously? I thought... Unless they've changed the rules, but uh, but yeah, so I, given that this game's not strictly multiplayer, I don't think you have to have it because Plus also isn't required for Dark Souls or Bloodborne. Oh, okay. Wait, really? Yeah. Because those have... Like, even to invite people or invade? Yeah, because I think those games have their own servers instead oh. of using Sony servers. Take another shot. <clears throat> oh, hey, there it is. Man, first so, shot came early. So uh, what are we at? Four total? Not counting <laughs> the title screen? Four and or the, five, yeah. Four or five? I kind of okay. want this car, though. That is... I would be worried about it, like, hitting a pebble, and it, it would be it being too top-heavy, and it would just yeah. tumble over. Wait, so why why extend I up? I think it's if... that high because it's like it's got insane shocks because of the rough terrain. Would being taller help with the terrain? Sometimes. Uh, okay. I recognize that. My actor, guy's kind of rude. From where? Oh, yeah. Oh, he has a phobia. Okay. Yeah. Not the touchy-feely type, he says. Okay, because I remember that one woman... Ugh, sh fragile, that was her name. Mm -hmm. Like, she greeted us and went for a handshake and he didn't do anything. Now this guy, so I'm thinking, is this he is... just rude? And the company is Bridges Corpse Disposal. I think that's the other reason why... Corpse are, Disposal? It's not as funny as you'd think. <laughs> also, like, oh, in each chapter God. has its own set songs, and it tells you what they are in the credits for each chunk. Like, each oh, chunk like of the game each... has little credits, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was just, a, like, a full playlist that uh -uh. just kind of goes at random. Okay. Oh. See, one of the things is, if you're... Uh, if you die as a result of interaction with... Uh, the beach ones, you don't huh? just die. You cause a crater. You ex you go nuclear. Oh! Yeah. So they have got to get him far away and get him in the incinerator before that happens. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Well then. So no pressure. Yeah, no, no pressure. <sighs> Crawling with BTs. I have to go through that? Actually, they're going to be driving, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just uh, <laughs> keep an eye on the body, though. The what? Just keep an eye on the body. Just watch it. You'll you, it. Watch the body. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, so you it, can do this. You have dooms, so you can like sense how far along the body is. Is it a subtle movement, or is it like a? It starts subtle, but then it starts becoming. Oh, holy crap! <laughs> yeah. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. Okay. So they said that he was a result of the BTs? Yeah. Oh boy, alright. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. 
And now you are in contract with them. So. I can't spot BTs. Okay. So, no, I have a question. Assuming you've gone... Go ahead. They're mentioning something here. He's like, I can't spot them. I can only sense them. He's like, well, I came prepared. Um, That's a bridge, baby. Being oh. plugged into one gives you sense of the BTs. Oh, good. And it causes the tears every time you plug into one. So wearing that baby helps you. <laughs> They're kind of cute in a creepy way. Ew. If it were just, like, sleeping or mm -hmm. in, uh... Like a yeah. comatose condition. But the fact that it can look at you. Yeah, that it has <laughs> sentience. Yeah. Is a bit much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hideo right. Kojima, a bit much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just his slogan. He, he gives business cards. Take a shot. Slogo? <laughs> Take a shot. Slogo. Oh, hey. It's a slogan and a logo. <laughs> I like right? it. I like it's slogo. A, it's a slogo. <laughs> he just hands out his business card with his slogo, and it just says, like, Hideo Kojima, a bit much. <laughs> In really fancy text. Yeah. So, when you say keep an eye on the body, do you mean in cutscenes or just like? You can also rotate gameplay? the camera around as the stuff is going down. Thing. Like this? Yeah. Like at first it's nothing, but as stuff goes on, yeah. But okay. Now they're kind I'm... of explaining what happened. Okay. So I assume from your as you have been talking that things are going to get hectic. Yeah. There's an in southening coming. There's an in southening. Yeah. Oh. You're uh looking a little smoky. Yeah, you're emitting a bit of the goop juice there. <laughs> yeah. You look like you're hickory smoked for flavor. <laughs> yeah. The Death Stranding? Yeah, that is the event that shattered the United States. Like, that logo on the Bridges company is actually what the U.S. looks like. It looks like something shattered it in a spiderweb pattern. And oh. uh, the when that happened, this other world of the dead mixed in with the real world and kind of uh, it, things are th weird things are happening. It's actually not unlike uh, Final Fantasy The Spirits Within, come to think of it. Before we go too much farther, yeah. when should I be genuinely concerned? Because right now it looks like he's busted open a couple fountain pens in his you pocket. You are completely safe through this. Rainbow. Oh. Why is rainbow bad? Upside down rainbow means uh, time falls coming. Oh shit, right, the rain. Okay. Yeah. Oh. oh, he's popping? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, so we're going to have to drive through an area infested with BTs. Oh, fantastic. Oh, lordy. Another day in paradise. Good. Now, question. So we've seen the um, the time rain's effect on living creatures. Yeah. And some more fragile things like the photo. What about something more rugged like a vehicle? I, I don't know. He is looking made of ink right now. <laughs> yeah. And I don't mean like happy, colorful splatoon ink. I mean like... Oh, this thing's slowly turning into Silent Hill now. Yeah. Yeah. And remember, Kojima was set to direct the next Silent Hill. Yeah. Rest in peace, Silent Hills, which also would have starred Norman Reedus. <laughs> God damn it. And actually, uh, another, the next guest star you see, or one of the next guest stars you see, would have also been the co-director of that game. Director Yo, Guillermo Dor del Toro, Toro. Has, is a character in this game. How, how, do you, how do you pronounce his first name? Guillermo. Guillermo. Yeah. Okay. I used to I have a friend named Guillermo, and we always called him Guillermo, just to mess with him. Gooey. Yeah, Guillermo. He hated it so much. I would just go with Gooey as a nickname. Yeah. Like, not the whole thing, but just as a nickname. Oh, yeah. Because that sounds kind of cool. Must be what, what's BB? Oh, the baby. Yeah, the bridge baby. Bridge baby, okay. Oh, Lord, I am... Uh... Okay, vehicle's moving again. Oh, okay. And he's got the scanner out. He's keeping an eye. I kind of like the scanners, too. They're very twitchy, and I like it. Like, what's up with it? What's up with it? What's that? Squirrel! Oh, Squirrel? Yeah. <laughs> this game does apparently once the once the main story happens, like here, uh, the game does have a high squirrel factor. So we should you should be able to fight a lot of side missions. Squirrel factor? Yeah, it's what I call like any game that has just like massive distracty side quests that take you away from the main campaign. Oh. It's like oh hey I need to do this oh but squirrel, you know. Dude, that is why I love like the la aside from seventy six the last yeah. few Fallout games. Holy mackerel. Mm -hmm. I will never... Like, I think Fallout 3 was the worst one. Are those tiny crabs? Uh, yes, they are. Lots of dead crabs. Also, the plants are growing rapidly from the time fall, but I also think plants growing is a sign of BTs being around. Oh, okay. Yeah, weirdly, plant life is okay. And also, somehow, his face is fine from all this. So I don't you know what's, get it. You know what's funny? Was the, um... Yeah, it should be raining on him. 
But anyway, it, one thing, when we first saw the BT footprint yeah. thingies, I remember there, were, there was plant life around it, but the big thing I was paying attention to was if the plant life would die. Yeah. I didn't. Re- it never occurred to me to see if it was growing, so I don't yeah. know if it was. was yeah, it actually, it was. Yeah, it was. Like seed, you could see seedlings popping out of the ground. Okay. Yeah, that um, that's not even black anymore. He is looking. It's like gold. Yeah. On the face there, like Ooh. an old timey death shroud. Like a what? Like an old death shroud mask. Like death mask that they uh, use, like I... ornate little gold. Cloths, you know. I don't know what that is. Like the Shroud of Turin, like a like a death shroud. If he's in the rain, I feel like. Yeah, well, he's, he's covering him to keep him from getting wet. He's like over him. Right, but wasn't but he? There it goes. Wasn't he already there before? <laughs> yeah. Already getting affected by the. Oh, there it is. Yep. <laughs> he's a going. And he's affected a little bit too, as you notice. His face is a little more gray than it was. Is it? Yeah, because I think he was on his back. Oh. Even he, as he's suffering, he's like, yeah, we're just gonna... <laughs> yeah. It's like, we'll take the worst problem right now and deal with it. <clears throat> he's got priority. Oh. Who boy. <laughs> Ooh, that car is cutting into him, too. Yeah. Well, that was like the first thing I was looking at was... Yeah. uh. Though I gotta admit, not knowing what they fully look like, like, are those hands or are those what its feet look like? You know? Well, it looked almost uh, semi-human-like when it was in the rain. Oh, yeah, before. in the air. So you know what I'd like to think it is? It's just people like doing handstands walking. Yeah. They're just very intimidatingly walking on their hands. Yeah. It's fine. I feel like we really need... Oh. <laughs> you uh, you going to be okay there? <laughs> Okay, so wait, why was the gold making a like a skull imprint? I don't know. And I just I, know that right now they're in trouble. I guess we don't have to worry about him exploding? Yeah. We have to worry. But not about him exploding specifically, because that was a... a oh thing. no, we have to worry about him exploding now, like he's but past he's, that element. He just sunk. sank into the ground, yeah. Oh, that's part of it? Yeah. Oh shit, I thought that was a... No- oh boy. <laughs> it's like, trouble, trouble! <laughs> They kind of remind me of Psycho Mantis, the way they hover Jeez. in the air like that. Uh-oh. Ooh, lordy. Now we have two of them. Oh, good. Wouldn't they hear the sound from this, though? I don't know. I think the breathing might also be, like, your literal breath that they could feel. Oh, I saw a face come out of that goo. Oh, there's hands and stuff holding him. Well, yeah, I saw the hands. I didn't see any face. Yeah, honestly, if, if it's as bad as everyone's making it out to be, yeah, I, I would probably ask for the same thing. And oh, hi. He's warning us about something. And I will say, this game has a heavy factor of show-don't-tell, which is a lot different than most Kojima. Usually Kojima's very stop-to-tell-you-for-hours what's happening and what it means. You know? it, um... So I'm going to give him the credit and say this is actually a really impressive like, bit of world-building here. Like, I'm not sure what's going on, but I feel like I'm learning. Oh, boy. Oh, one of those had glasses. Oh, boy. He just threw the baby. Okay, he said run. Do I need to worry about taking the baby, or am I... Oh. He shot himself. No, he tried to shoot himself, but he yanked him up in the air. Oh. Oh, and he can't even put himself out. Nope. Oh, he's... Fuck. And everything's floating now. Stabbing himself in the heart. Yeah. Probably not my preferred way to go. Not the end I'd wish for. Yeah. Oh, okay, it does float to me. I was worried that that was going to be across some distance and I'd have to try to make my way to it. I will and say, just as a, a, shit. a minor note, we are approaching the moment where you will need to do a little bit of uh, booty censoring. God damn it! Uh, you know, at least I let you know. Brian. Jeez, I don't remember that. Are you sure it's a little bit of... Okay, it's coming from the stomach. I thought that yeah. was just an enormous dick. No, it has a hand coming out of its face, and it's like a golden oh. hand. Yeah. Oh, and... Explosion. Is that... Is that the person from I think, before? Or? I think that was the person from before. I feel like I should be dead then. This should be game over. Um, you are dead. 
Oh. Yeah, this game is teaching you about the game over mechanic now. The way it works. Okay, because so Because your there's... character has special powers, including game over powers. Oh. Yeah. Well then. Okay, wait. I just realized something. Are we about to have a Terminator moment? Uh, am, I waking, of, am I waking up naked? A little bit of Nudeman Ritas? <sighs> God damn it. Okay. All right, Ritas, we're gonna we're gonna cover up the butt. Some Norman booty. All right, I'll say it's not as bad as I oh, thought. Oh no, it was it, gonna. it's gonna. There's gonna oh, be more. It will like, get worse. Oh yeah, no, it's like full on, like. Cause the way. Oh, watch, watch. He was holding the baby. And he's sad about it. Right. It disappeared, cause it was dying. Oh. So did it become a thing? Uh huh. It died. The the stranded things are things from the the they say the other world, the afterlife, Hades, whatever. Okay. That's he has a, a cesarean scar. section scar. What? I don't understand that part. And there's another even weirder element with the babies in him that I won't understand either. Okay. I don't get what's with the flash drives either. I have. Oh, those are flash drives. I think I don't know. They look like flash. Drives. I say it just looks like. Well, metal rectangles. I, I assumed he just wore that for decoration. Norman Booty. Okay, so is this the worst that the booty's gonna get? I think. Okay. There might be, this... like, another shot or whatever. It's tasteful. It's not gratuitous. I'll say this, because I am still gonna censor it, but it's not yeah. nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Also, Dead Dolphins, 10 out of 10. Best game ever. <laughs> That's your instant 10? <laughs> is Dead Dolphins? I mean, Dead Dolphins. He's saying what we're uh. all thinking. God. But, yeah, I was expecting something a bit more brazen. Yeah. Like... It might zoom in furthermore. Why are they singing London Bridge? Yeah, see, we're about to get... I think. Is it gonna go lower? I can't remember. I was expecting, like, last episode, uh... <laughs> typing of the dead. Oh, no. Giant floppy <laughs> zombie titties. No. That was infuriating. Yeah, why are we singing? And who's th who is this? I don't know. I don't remember this part. I remember some of this part, but I don't remember that part of this part. Why is she on a right. beach in heels? I, the, the, obviously, you're asking the important questions. So, what's with the crabs? They're just, they or were just, just more life forms in the water that died. I was going to say, I guess just narrow, you yeah. know, broaden that to why is all of the sea life dead? Yeah, I don't know. It's to fit alongside the beached thing okay. reference. You know? So, if they're called be Okay. Whoopsie! I don't recall seeing any Rita's junk here, but you know. But yeah, should should we anticipate Rita's junk? I don't know. All right. I know more than a few people who constantly anticipate seeing Norman Rita's junk. So I'm sorry. Uh, several of my female friends have a weird uh, love obsession with him. Okay, so here's where you end up when you die. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. He's a handsome dude. Yeah. Uh. I don't know what that thing is, but it keeps plugging yeah. dead bodies. Okay, good. That so, was my next uh, question. There's you down there. Okay. You're going to want to swim to yourself. You can also scan to find yourself, but you're a repartee. You mean that he can return to life. Repatriate, sorry. I mean, you can return the to same life. Follow the strand to guide the same soul back to his body to bring him back. Yeah. Hi! Oh. oh, wait. Oh, Christ. Thumbs up for the baby. Thumbs up! And then this. I have no clue what that means. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was super freaky, and then Jesus looks like... And then we have some uh, Hannibal Lecter talking to us. Just the, the thumbs up. What? Baby, can you hear me? Oh, my God. I couldn't tell for a while if this was, like, video footage that was heavily filtered or CG. That's how good that shot was initially. And I want to know Belch. who that guy that was talking to you... Yeah, we just got burped up by Norman Reedus. What? This game doesn't make any sense, but it's fascinating. It's not even always fun. I feel... Oh, dear. <coughs> Wait, what's with the bugs? They're the black ones. Right. I, I think they're the same ones. They're just covered in that black goo. He's eaten a few of them, and... Or maybe when he burps them up, they come back out. I don't know. I haven't figured out everything to do with those yet. Okay. But, and that one is broken and gone, unfortunately. Okay. Because I remember, because, 
I know if it... I would be much more unsettled if the baby didn't just randomly give me a thumbs up like, Good job, soldier! Keep at it! <laughs> oh, so that... Yeah. ...is what happens... Uh-huh. That's the aftermath. And of you can't a, quite tell there, but that crater is like miles wide, and, and it's semi hand shaped. And the city you came from was in there. You didn't make it far oh. from town. Oh. Yeah. Oh, good. Cool. Well. <laughs> oh my god. This. The this game, game is definitely interesting. Yes. Oh my. Okay, so it only has three hints to give me right now. Yeah. Or four. or some. Oh, never mind, there's more. I'm... It's just the way the, the randomness... Oh, okay. My dumbass is not picking up. Okay. If you center your balance while in a river, you'll be able to resist the flow of water. If you center your balance with both hands, you'll be able to hold on for longer. Oh! I know I could center during that. Alright, fantastic. First spell on the button... This game has some loading times to it. I'm not, oh, n- t- as soon as I run my mouth. Okay, now, question. Yes. Because this is running pretty long yeah. for an episode. When do we get to, a, a, like, a stopping point or a pause point? We're actually about to hit, like, a shorter cutscene, and then we'll be back into the game. Okay. Our, oh. My guy was wearing cuffs, wasn't he? Yeah. Did he not think that this would be a little bit... This could easily be inconvenient, that he would just wear a set of handcuffs on him? Yeah. Also, I seem to be crying. Is there a thing? I... I don't remember. Though it might just be because you're close to a bridge bay because of their connection. Oh, can they also cause the crying? Yeah. Oh. That's why he was crying whenever he was holding the dead one. Okay. I thought it was because of the, uh... Just the things. Hey, gooey. <laughs> oh, is that him? And, yeah, that's... Guillermo del Toro. Okay. Though it's a different actor playing him because the man has like a heavy Portuguese accent over his... I get See, Portuguese. I've, I've only actually seen him once. It was when... Um... Shoot, he made the uh, yeah. dead man, really? Yep. Guillermo del Toro, special appearance. with, And then they mentioned the voice actor for him. Okay, so that, that Jesse Corti yeah. is the voice actor. Okay. Mm-hmm. Though he actually has an accent here, too, but... Yeah. <laughs> but the... Um... Oh, shoot, what was it? That, that one movie he made, what, was it Shape of Water? Did he make that? Guillermo del Toro did The Shape of Water. He also did Hellboy 1 and 2. Didn't he win an award for that? Yes, he did. Because I remember seeing he his... He also did um, Labyrinth. Really? Yeah. I remember thinking that movie was weird, but I liked it. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I remember hearing his accent from the uh, his acceptance speech. Mm-hmm. I kind of want one of those Bridges badges, too. Like, I just really like the design with the spider web shattering to the United States. <laughs> and the game is a heavy metaphor for using our personal connections to bring the country back together. It's like, it's it's very heavy-handed, but it's more subtle than I normally expect from <laughs> Kojima. That's fine. See, hopefully, so what exactly, because he was wearing that before, but what's... So did he just think it was a fashion statement before, I, or...? I don't know. I know one of the characters had the cuff on, but I couldn't remember if he had it, but this one's basically, it's your HUD. I could have sworn he had it in the last cut scene, but I don't know if he had it before that. Oh, they collected fluid samples from him. Um, He's been out for two days. What fluids? It's just stuff like blood, right? Yeah. Blood and plasma? That's it? Nothing else? Nothing from any dangly bits? And now he's going to learn what happened. Central not was obliterated in the annihilation. The entire city. Game over, man. God damn it. <laughs> And when you die, that's the screen that pops up. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> it was a very Metal Gear looking game over screen. Right. <laughs> but I thought if I... You told me that that was the... How death works is I just float back to the body. Yeah, but when you die, you also leave a massive crater that stays permanently in the game map. Oh, for real? Yep. And when it, you do the online mode, you'll even see craters left by other players. Oh, shit. Yeah. They can be difficult to traverse, too. Oh, lordy. So okay. it's like, yeah, you <laughs> you can help players by leaving supplies. You can also hinder them by putting a big asshole in their way. <laughs> I feel like, depending on the limitations of the <coughs> game, it could be possible to completely 
eventually erase the planet doing that if you keep putting in more and more craters. Given that the players weren't ever able to completely uh, get rid of all the nukes in Metal Gear Solid V, really? Heavy-handed product placement much. I see. I don't know much about just a bunch of solid. No, there was a bunch of cans of Monster Energy on the table. Oh, was there? Yeah, like five see, big I, old black cans of Monster Energy. I looked away as you were saying it, but then when I looked back, it was Army Men. <laughs> there, and I was, see? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm seeing it. Yeah, that's that's you're laying on laying it on pretty thick. Yeah. No, I thought you were talking about the Army Men. I was like, nah. the little green toy guys were... No, because those little toy guys were literally the two people that were with you earlier. Like, little models oh, of they? them. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, see, this is this is why I like playing games with you around. You catch so many little details yeah. that I just gloss over. Also, another reason why he doesn't like being touched. Uh, the woman that t grabbed his arm in the cave, uh -huh. she left a black mark where she grabbed. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, so it's not just a phobia, it's an actual thing. Yep. Oh. Okay. Oh, goodness. Also, that, uh... The President of the United States needs morphine. What? I was gonna say, that jacket actually looks pretty cool, too. Yeah. The red one or the porter thing? The, well, jacket. Oh, those, those, so it would be the medical one. Yeah. I do. I mean, do his that. Norman Reedus's just looks like a futuristic wife beater almost, or undershirt. Yeah. I was gonna say I thought wife beater, but I, I realized it like went all, all the way up to the neck. Yeah, it's a new design. It's called the Norman Beatus. Oh boy. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> what a way to announce that you're not here. Yeah. Good lord. Reese is probably like, I'm sorry, did I just get laid for a second? And they keep using the word Cairo. Hold on, hold that thought. Yeah, he's got a scar across his face. Yeah, the, the forehead one? Did yeah. he have that before? Yeah, he's had it the whole time. Okay. Yeah, I didn't... There, dude, there are so many little things. Yeah. I'm just not noticing. So why does he have it? Did he lobotomize himself? I have no clue. Did he attempt a lobotomy on himself? <laughs> Knowing Kojima, it'll never be explained. Because there's some characters that was you it, see like that. Like, was it the Hubert Farnsworth treatment? I mean, Psycho Mantis where, has the same kind of scars. Where the alternate universe version of him successfully performed a lobotomy. So he's like, oh, the easy, the easy part was getting the brain out. The hard part was getting the brain out. <laughs> I love Farnsworth. It's, oh god, that that's probably my favorite, like little segment, my favorite oh, yeah. line. Oh, that whole that whole episode's pretty great. Oh, it is great, yeah. And it's got some good Zoidberg action in it. <laughs> oh boy. It's so hard to have a favorite character on Futurama. It, it's just a. I'll, I'll say this disclaimer: I hadn't watched anything after the movies. Yeah. But all of Futurama up to that point was really good. I refuse to have any opinion on the rest that I have not seen. Yeah. Okay, are we getting to an actual gameplay part? Yeah, you're about to, to be sent on your mission. See? Because this is a, a double-wide episode okay. we're working on now. We're yeah. good? There we go. All right, cool. This Next is literally where I stop playing. Pick that shit up. <laughs>